Okay, so uh, lead code practice time. Uh, in this video, there are two goals. The first goal is to see how to solve this problem. And the second goal is to see uh, how we should behave in a real interview. So let's get started. So in a real interview, uh, the first step is always try to understand the problem. If there is anything unclear, please bring out the question. And uh, at the same time, think about some edge cases. So let's take a look at this question. A number of connected components in an undirected graph. So given n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and the list of undirected edges, each edge is a pair of the nodes. So write a function to find the number of the connected components in an undirected graph. So let's see, for this one, you're going to return 2 because there is there are two connected components, the left part and the right part. For the example 2, you're going to return 1. OK, it makes sense. So let's see some constraints. So you can assume that no duplicate edges will appear in the edge. So all the edges are undirected. So it means 0, 1 is the same as 1, 0. So uh, having said that, um, I think we should be in good shape understanding the question. I don't really see uh, much about. I don't really see much about the edge cases at this moment. Um, so let's uh, find the solution. So the next it, the next step is about finding a solution. So how to solve this problem? So for this problem uh, the idea the first idea that comes to my mind is to use a DFS so we will have a visited vector to track uh, which nodes we have already visited and if a node is not visited we will try to find the edges as we will try to find the edges of the node and find its neighbors and then keep visiting uh, until we join all the nodes. So every time uh, we call DFS, we should be able to mark all the nodes in the connected component as visited. So uh, the runtime for this is going to be O, uh, let's say there are n nodes here. It is going to be n plus e. So e is the number of the edges and n is the number of the nodes within the graph. So. Uh, having said that, uh, the next step is about coding. So for coding is about mostly about the correctness, the readability, and also don't be too slow uh, in this step because there is uh, there is a limitation on the interview time. So uh, let's do some coding work for this uh, approach. First of all, I would say uh, we will need to have a helper function to construct the graph. Mm, so we will turn it into a map. So the map would be from the the key is the, I, the index of the node and the value is the neighbors. So this is, let's call it build graph. We pass in the edges into it. Um, so we are going to go through the edges. Before that, we need to define the graph. Uh, graph is equal to new hash map. Uh, this is the uh, edge. Edges um, from is equal to edge zero. 2 is equal to edge 1. So if um, the graph doesn't contain, uh, if it doesn't contain from, then we are going to have graph dot add a, a new uh, put, let's say put uh, uh, from the new uh, hash set. Then we have we add the edge into the graph. Dot uh, get um, from dot add uh, the two. 
and similarly we need to do the reverse way because it's this is the graph has no direction so uh, to this is to to from and uh, at the end we are going to return the graph so we are going to call this function to build a graph here um, let's say this is graph as um, build a graph the edges from the edges and uh, now we are going to design define the visited nodes of the visited which is a set let's say this is a integer visited as new hash set and we are going to go through each of the node i is equal to zero i is smaller than n plus plus i and then we are going to call the DFS on top of every node. Um, I would say if visited contains the the uh, the index of the node, then we simply continue. Otherwise, we need to do DFS on top of it. So DFS, it is uh, the index of the node, the visited stuff, and also the uh, graph. So uh, this one would be, let's say, void DFS. Uh, here we need to define the, let's say, connected components count as equal to zero. So here we are going to plus plus it because we have we find the the node that's not visited and we need to extend the node uh, to find all the nodes within the corresponding components and finally we just return connected components count so for this dfs function uh, it is idx of the node as the first parameter the second one is uh, visited set and also the last one is a map uh, the, or the graph So um, if um, visited dot contains the idx, then we are just going to return. Otherwise, we have visited dot add uh, the idx, and also uh, if uh, if graph if the graph doesn't contain the idx then it means there's no neighbors for it uh, which would be very odd um, then we are going to just return without doing anything otherwise uh, we are going to go through all of its neighbors uh, uh, so this is graph.get um, and then we call dfs on top of it so this is the neighbor this is a visited and this is a graph so that's pretty much it about the coding for this question and after we are done with coding we still need to do some checking like uh, do some testing on top of it and mostly first of all we do some sanity check by uh, going through an example explain how this piece of code is going to work and at the same time uh, identify identify the bug and fix it so let's see at the very beginning we build a graph let's say let's take this as, as an example so first of all we build a graph the graph would be something like um, so it is 0 2 uh, 1 and uh, also we have 1 2 a 0 get from at 2 and it contains uh, it now contains two for the new hash set and two to from and for the next one it is actually one to uh, two and also we have a re reverse way which is two to one and the last thing is three to four and four to three so this is after we call the build graph you should have a graph like this 
and the next step is about uh, DFS. So I, at the very beginning, uh, this is a graph. And visited is empty at the very beginning. So is connected as zero at the very beginning as well. So if visited contains the i, then we continue. But of course, the first node is not in it. So we are going to cut DFS on top of it. For the DFS, we see that the neighbors are 0 and 2. Uh, we go, so first of all, we put the 0 into it. And uh, we, f we see the neighbors at 0 and 2. And then we call DFS on top of the neighbors. And then we are going to have uh, sorry, uh, for the neighbor, it is one actually. So we are going to call DFS on one and then further extend to zero and two again. And uh, we are going to mark all of them as visited. So the first component contains zero, one, two, and then we connect, we um, have connected components count as plus plus. And then we call, we see that node one is visited already, two is visited already. Then similarly, we find the connect, another com connected components which contain nodes three and four. And then we plus plus the connected com component count. So now it's, it should be two. Finally, we return two for this input case. So I think overall it's fine. Let's uh, just uh, give it a shot. Okay, so it's good. Uh, let's do a submission for it. Okay, so now everything looks good. That's pretty much it about this uh, solution. So if you have any question about the solution or about the puzzle, uh, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.